hello everyone and welcome back so in the last video we created the bottom bar which actually consists two different labels the first one is for the color and the second one is for the size so in this video we are going to create our text editor in the middle where we actually can write text and at the left we are going to show some line numbers so without wasting any time let's write some code so for that let's create the left panel and the light panel it will be a UI text view and for the right panel it will also be a UI text view so first let's some write write some code for the left panel so we are going to add this to the sub view and then we are going to say left panel dot translate auto resizing mask into constraints and we will set this to false and now we will set the background color and I will choose the gray color for this and we'll do left panel dot text and by default it should show one and basically left panel dot text alignment it should be dot left okay and now we need to add some constraints to our left panel so we can do left panel dot left anchor dot constraint and it should be self dot left anchor because we want to pin it to the left edge and then let's make this active sorry it should be left anchor here and now we will do the top anchor and for the top anchor we will do top bar dot bottom anchor and then we are going to make this active so we are basically done with the left and top bar let's set the bottom constraint and bottom constraint will be actually bottom bar dot top anchor okay so let's make this active now we need to set the width for the left panel so for that we are going to use this method which takes uh, an s layout dimension and a multiplier so it should be self dot width and the multiplier should be 1 by 10 so basically by setting the multiplier by 1 1 by 10 what we are doing is we are saying that the height of the left panel should be 1 by 10 the height of the whole device that we are using so basically let's say if we are changing the size of the device from iPhone to iPad then the left panel will automatically change its width according to the device's width so let's run this app and see how is the left panel looking for us okay it, our application just crashed so let's check what is the error that we have got okay so I think we have done something wrong with our constraints so let's head back to our main view dot swift file and let's see okay this line is nice on the left constraint we are doing cell dot ref anchor okay I think all the anchors are right for the left anchor we are doing self dot left anchor for the top we are doing ok top bar dot bottom for the bottom anchor we are doing bottom bar dot top anchor ok I think this is because the top bar is at the bottom of this so we can simply cut this code and we can paste it here because basically the compiler needs to know the position of the bottom bar and then only it will 
replace the left panel so let's run this again and I think that should probably work for us okay so you can see that now it is working for us you can see that here is the left bar which will actually show the line numbers so I think the text is a bit small so let's change the size to be 16 so for that we can simply do left panel dot font and it should be UI font dot system font of size and we need 16 let's run our app again and now the font size of the line numbers will be changed to 16 and this is the font that we want by default okay so you can see that now it is looking good so now let's create the right panel for our text editor so basically for that I think we should copy all the code it should save us some time and let's paste the code here why is the Xcode losing all the colors okay now let's replace the left panel with the right panel now we actually don't want any text by default in the right panel and we also need to fix some anchors so basically top anchor is good bottom is good width is not good it should be actually 9 by 10 and instead of left anchor it should be right anchor and I think this is the fix that we need and I think now the right panel will show okay we actually forgot to change the background color so we will not be able to differentiate between the left panel and the right panel so I think what should we do is we actually change the color of the right panel so instead of gray we are going to do light gray and let's run our app again okay so now our text editor is looking much more nice but you will notice that here is a white line in between the left panel and the right panel so let's try to remove this line by modifying our constraints so basically instead of this with anchor we are going to say right panel dot left anchor dot constraint and it will be left panel dot right anchor I think this should remove the white line in both in between both the panels let's check if this code actually does that okay so basically it is not removing that particular line so I think for that we actually have another fix so if we go back to our view controller so here we can instead of white we can simply say light gray I think this should now remove the line between both the panels okay so you can see that now the line has been removed in between so let's say if you want to type some text so you can simply type it like this and it will work for you but you will notice that the line number is not automatically changing and also the scroll view is not working fine basically we want that if the right panel is scrolling then the left panel should automatically scroll and there is one more thing that the left panel can be edited so basically we don't need the left panel to be edited so we are going to fix all this in the next video so I will see you in the next video